hey you guys welcome welcome back to my channel my name is mink and of course this is mink's kinks hey y'all hey so as you guys can see i am in my living room per usual y'all but the kid actually left the house today i actually just got back from going to the cheesecake factory with one of my friends he's um getting ready to go back to school he's in school to get his master's so um we always link up when he comes home that is one of my best friends so i'm so glad that we got to link i took out my hair right before um we left this is the as i am um twist defining cream and i use the kinky tresses hair milk is the leave-in because i've been trying to use up both of them and both of them are just about gone but not all the way there but y'all i really enjoyed the way that this turned out this is day one here and when i tell y'all the definition is going absolutely stupid i didn't get the chance to stretch it um so this is what it looks like just like naturally but i will band it tonight um yeah so I have a package here to um, unbox with you guys and I'm pretty sure it's from one of my bookie boo friends on TikTok. Y'all know I talk a lot about books on TikTok. Um, I feel like my book content is starting to get a little bit more interaction but I, I get a lot more on TikTok usually so um, I have like book friends so we're going to go ahead and open this up. So she um, was just getting rid of some books. And she was asking people like, did y'all want something? So of course I do. Hello. And this is, this is exactly from her. So I need to shoot her a message real quick. But I want to let you guys know the books that I got. <laughs> so the first book here is called Zora Books Her Happily Ever After. The second one is called The Many Dates of Indigo. And then last but not least, this is called The Romantic Agenda by Claire Kahn. Can? All books, I believe, written by black women. She was getting ready to these. Yep, all by black women. I'm so excited. Like, oh my God. Thank you, girl. So, um, not like I need any more books, but here are three books. And it came right in time because Valentine's Day is right around the corner. And these are all romances y'all know that's my thing so i'm so excited to get into those but also y'all i don't know like this year from mix miss on i feel like my channel i feel like i could see the growth in my channel like yeah the numbers going up but like my watch time is going up like people are clicking on my videos more and watching more than just my hair stuff which it's been a little bit of a rut to get out of hair stuff to be honest um you guys know i do a lot of like body care and feminine hygiene and that type of stuff and a lot of people have enjoyed that content but i don't always get the people to return and that's the hard part whereas with hair stuff i have a lot of people who um like regularly watch me so i don't know i feel like i've been able to see some growth with non-hair videos as well as a little bit more like I hate to say popularity but like popularity with my hair videos some of my biggest videos are not hair so it's like I don't know it's always like finding a a balance but yeah so I'm so excited to get these three books of course I'm so so happy to see my channel grow of course I made new year's resolutions all of those things but I almost feel like it's bad luck to tell you guys or show you guys um maybe i'll show you guys what my vision board looked like last year i'll post the pop-up i'll post the pop-up of what my vision board looked like last year um and a good bit of it came to fruition so but i did share it last year so i'm hoping it'll make a difference this year if i keep mine to myself but child we'll see um this year i gave god the reins because Child, it's really giving Jesus take the wheel. That's what it's really giving right now. I don't know how things are going to get done, but they always do. And I feel like I worry about stuff that like ends up working itself out in the long run. So um, that's my theme of this year is like just I gave God the reins to my life. Like take the wheel. You're in control because child, his vision is always bigger than mine. So that has been my thing for 2024. But yeah, as for this vlog, y'all, I am going to try. I have like little bit of corners and like three or four deep conditioners. And I'm going to mix them all together. And I don't feel like it's necessarily worth me making a whole video of it. But I am going to mix it together and let you guys know how it worked on my hair. So I will end up showing you guys, but it's the 
Honey's Handmade Sweet Potato Deep Conditioner, which I'm very... Mm, I usually really do enjoy Honey's Deep Conditioners. That's a lot of my stash that's left from them. Y'all know I don't shop from them anymore. But um, a lot of my stash is their deep conditioners. And for whatever reason, that sweet potato one was one that I really thought was going to do something. So um, I have the most in that one. I have my Nature's Little Secret Agave, which I should be getting my ambassador package soon. They said they were sending them out on like Wednesday or something. So maybe that'll come in this vlog chat. We'll see. But I should be getting that soon. And then what's the last one? The Oyen Handmade. Um, what the hell? And y'all know those were my top two deep conditioners from last year. And then I do have the Urban Hydration Clay Mask. But to me that felt more just like a regular like hydrating type of mask. Like I don't know. So it all depends on how much product that I have left. Because if I need more product I'm just going to probably use that hydration. The Clay Mask from Urban Hydration. That brand is so weird to me. <laughs> it's so weird to me y'all. Like one minute you see it the next minute you don't. Like they're in Target. But I feel like their products really don't be hitting like that. And you don't hear about people talking about them. That's why I try to review them. Because I'm like, girl, what is this? And I know for a fact y'all will probably get a book review in this vlog. This will be my first book that I'll finish in 2024. Child, I still be saying, wanting to say 2020 sometimes. Like, come on, keep up. But yeah, y'all will definitely probably get a book review in this one. The book I'm reading is called Love and Other Disasters by Anita kelly i think is her name and um not my favorite book like i won't keep it but i'll reserve my thoughts and opinions and all of that until a i finish the book and b when i come and give y'all a review but yeah y'all i just want to pop in say hey and unbox these books with y'all i am so excited to read these of course i'm trying to figure out my valentine's day lineup anyway so yeah y'all i will see you guys when i pick up the camera next Good morning guys so I just wanted to pop on real quick because I realized that I never really gave you guys the breakdown of what my bookshelf looks like and just the way that I set it up um chat y'all know I always got laundry on my couch I'm gonna fold it today though I promise so I'm just gonna go through real quick with you guys to show you guys just you know kind of the way that I set up my bookshelf so we'll start at the top um, if you know, you know, I've had this in my last place, but I put hardcover books that I really want to read. I haven't read any of those. <laughs> and then I have the pre-series by Sierra Simone. I read Grown and Allegedly and part of um, Sister Outsider. But what I really wanted to do is just keep a lot of the books that have the same author together. So obviously these together. These are both written by Tiffany D. Jackson and then Audre Lorde. So y'all can see kind of what I'm doing there. And then, of course, we have paperback books, just because I feel like it added some dimension from the hardback books. So, um, I don't believe I've read any of these ones yet. Y'all know, one of my aunts gave me this little YouTube plaque that she was able to make. Um, that's when I hit a thousand. So, that is up there because I just think it is so cute. Coming down a bit, we have my little, my little guy. You guys saw me get him in a haul. Um, my home goods haul actually so he is just a little astronaut reading a book and then in his little backpack y'all I was able to put my highlighters in there because y'all know I like to highlight in my books so that is what he's doing up here and then again we have this set of books so um, excuse me what I ugly cry Excuse me while I ugly cry and confessions of an alleged good girl are written by the same author we have the butterfly series we have um Alicia Rye and then the Black Girls Must Be series of course come down a little bit um there's this fake plant more books that I haven't read my mom bought me this super super cute um uh what's it called bookmark so that's this again just authors that I you know have together so we have Toni Morrison Jasmine Guillory is an author I've been picking up a lot of her books so these are all hers and then Akweke Emezi is here coming down again ties that tether um the sweetest remedy and where we begin are all the same author and then Farrah Rilkon my Kindle is propped up right there and then on this side this is more like my autobiography type of things here so Barack Obama, Beyonce, Viola Davis, all of those type of things. And then these are mostly books that I just haven't read on this shelf down here. 
Um, there's not really a rhyme or reason, honestly. I put some hardback cover books just to keep the shelf from, you know, falling down. And then this last shelf down here. These are books that I have read a good bit of, but not all of. And then I do have some books still under my TV stand. Books that really stand out to me and that I have loved. Don't mind those boxes, Chad. That's an Amazon haul. I got a film too. <laughs> So yeah, that's what the bookshelf looks like. I love her. I feel like it adds so much dimension to my living room. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on and show y'all real quick because I realized that I never really gave y'all a breakdown of what it looks like. I'm editing my TikTok of me putting up the shelf. So I was like, yeah, let me pick up my camera and tell, tell my people what I did here for the people who care about books at least. Hey you guys. So today is actually Thursday. And uh, let me tell y'all, I just got back from jury duty. <sighs> Girl, jury jury duty is the scammiest. Okay, it's the scammiest. I had to be there at 8.30 this morning, hence hair is not done, not really dressed. Like, I'm giving librarian realness. Um, but we had to be there at 8.30. I didn't leave until the end of the day. Um, it was just a lot. And then in Pennsylvania, they give you $9. It cost me $24 to park downtown, baby. Like, what am I going to do with $9? So it's been a very frustrating and annoying day, honestly. But um, tomorrow's Friday. Me and my sister are going to hang out on um, Saturday. And we're going to go to one of my friend's shows. So I'm excited to see him perform. We went to go see him a couple times before me and her um so um but yeah so we're gonna do that on saturday and then sunday the Steelers made the playoffs baby the Steelers made the, by the skin of our teeth we made the playoffs i also need to um you know wash my hair and everything i told you guys i'm going to be using up a ton of products on wash day so there's three deep conditioners that i'm hopefully planning that i can i'm pretty sure i'll be able to use them all up i look pretty literally do not mind me <laughs> so i'm sure i'll be able to use all of those up i'm going to use up a leave-in and then i'm pulling out a product that i haven't used in a very long very long time but it's like halfway gone and i'm using it for a wash and go so i don't think i'll use the whole thing but you never know what my hair you really don't but while i was at jury duty i was able to finish the book that i was reading this is called um, Love and Other Disasters by Anita Kelly. And let me tell you, this was a little bit of a long book. It was 370, 367 pages. So it was definitely on the longer side. Um, I had very, very high hopes for this book. This was one that I picked up from Half Price Books. The book in short was like, imagine Top Chef, like the reality show Top Chef meets like a romance novel. And I don't know, for whatever reason, I've been kind of obsessed with Top Chef lately. Um, so this was definitely right up my speed. That's probably why I picked it off the shelf to read it. But it's like two contestants end up falling for each other. But honestly, I, well, let me tell y'all. I gave the book three stars because it's not a bad book it's just not a great book um this isn't one that i'll keep i will be selling this one i have price books um so it, it really that's it in a nutshell like they end up um you know as contestants friends they're spending a lot of time together end up together okay that's that's literally the book um and though i thought it was a good book it was a sweet book um and there's a lot of queer representation in the book one of the main characters is um non-binary and uses they them pronouns so you know that was cool i love to see the representation but as far as the book i feel like the book fell flat honestly like i thought the the plot was there the plot was there i was very excited about the plot of the book but honestly it just didn't land for me it just felt like i was reading 360 pages of them flirting and i didn't i didn't Honestly, I just felt like the book didn't really have much of like a climax. It just didn't it just didn't do it for me, y'all, honestly. Um, I don't know. Like it's it wasn't a great book, but it wasn't a bad book either. So I do like the representation of non-binary people and queer people in the book. We love to see it. You know, it was cute. So I give it three stars. Um, I'll probably go in depth a little bit more on TikTok. I've noticed that though my book content is starting to pick up more people gain a little bit more traction it's definitely not to the same extent as it is on tiktok so i will post my tiktok on you know one of the sides here so that you guys go see 
but um yeah y'all so today i am literally just about to go to chick-fil-a to pick up some dinner because i'm hungry and i'm probably just going to chill for the rest of the night i need to finish editing my vlog for tomorrow's upload um and honestly that'll probably be it y'all see i have clothes on my couch but they're folded this time y'all they're folded i told you i was gonna fold them so i did fold the clothes but as for tonight it's really giving chill night it's chill night it's cold outside i just want my chick-fil-a i want to curl up in my bed um you know just the vibes nothing too interesting but yeah i will see you guys later hey y'all so i am very very randomly back on the floor in my bedroom because my back kind of hurts so i'm chat <laughs> okay i'm back and super randomly so i cook dinner and everything cute 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 but girl i got that little itch where i'm like oh i need something sweet yeah i'm one of them but i also live very very close to a crumble and let me tell you something that's always gonna be my downfall okay and i follow them on instagram which lets you know I'm gonna always have a big back first of all because not you following a crumple Instagram girl like come on but I saw they had one of my favorite flavors back they had like a chocolate chip cookie um a snickerdoodle like sandwich situation and the only other one that I care or remember about is the one that I got and it's the waffle one y'all the waffle and the churro were my favorites. If you know, you know. I just love churros. I love churros. But this waffle one is fire. So, y'all see, it literally looks like a little waffle. And it comes with syrup. But for me, girl, I'm not using no, no syrup on a cookie. Like, that's just taking it a little too far for me. Just a little too far for me, y'all. Like, syrup on a cookie? Is that necessary? I also didn't try it, but like I just don't feel like that's necessary. I refuse to do it. Crumbles are already 15,000 calories. I don't need no more. But the little icing is like a little butterball, y'all. It's just good. So I'm going to try it on camera because, y'all, it was just so random. Like, so, so random. So I got my little piece. Let me get a little bit of icing. A little bit of icing. Y'all know I'm not a big icing person. Well, y'all probably wouldn't know. But I'm not a big icing person. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now, it doesn't taste exactly like a waffle because it's not a waffle. It's a cookie. But it's good for sure. Hey guys hey so today is sunday and of course it's wash day as you guys can see because y'all y'all know i i can't with wet hair i just can't um but i decided okay so i told y'all earlier in the vlog i had like three deep conditioners that were just about going um and i was gonna mix them and see what happened basically so i did that i mixed them i showed y'all as well um i just put them in this oyen container because oyen is the biggest container um, so again, for reference, I have the Honey's Handmade Sweet Potato and Turmeric Mask. That was the most that I had left, um, but I tend to have to use a lot of that product. I have the Nature's Little Secret Agave, which y'all saw, I had like nothing left. And then I literally had like a corner left in the oil mask. So I mixed them all together and this is what it looks like. So that is what it looks like in there. Um, it is starting to move though, so let me, let me be careful. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to go ahead and apply this. Now, I said earlier, I didn't want to do like a whole review because I wasn't really sure if you guys were interested in that type of thing. So I decided to put it in the vlog for now. And then if you guys want to see that happen later on, because y'all know I fly through deep conditioners, I could do that. But I literally just got out the shower. I literally, literally just finished washing my hair, hence the towel. So I'm just going to apply the deep conditioner. Y'all have seen me apply a bajillion. <laughs> deep conditioners so i'm just gonna go ahead and apply it like i normally do Okay, 
okay vlog so i'm back and i did use the concoction situation um and y'all know i never finished nothing so there's still about this much left of the concoction um which isn't a whole whole lot left but you know chill um so i will say it felt like a deep conditioner going on um it was like a just thicker creamy consistency but it wasn't like thick um and i was kind of surprised about that because the thickest of these conditioners is the oyen and i had the least of that um the honey's handmade one was just real creamy and there was only a little bit of the nature's little secret but i definitely can say i felt the slip spreading with that so i had to pop on my hair towel because y'all know i i can't get jiggy with wet hair y'all know i just it's just a lot for me so i'm gonna just take it out and show you guys and then i'm going to go ahead and get off of this video so that i can go and film my actual styling video today because child i gotta style my hair Duh. All right, y'all. So y'all know I deep condition my hair in twist, just because I don't know. It just it just helps me concentrate on each section. And I will say my hair feels so so soft, like so so soft. Wow. So this is what my hair is looking like. Just taking it out that plastic cap. It does in fact look really really good. It feels good. Um, like I said, the base of it was the Honey's Handmade Deep Conditioner, which doesn't have the best moisture to me. Um, but my hair is extremely, extremely soft. It's not as moisturized as um, I would hope. But again, the base was that Deep Conditioner from Honey's Handmade, and that wasn't the most moisturizing. So um, I definitely think that the onion and the Nature's Little Secret help in that aspect. But yeah, I just wanted to pop on and show you guys what the results of that looks like. Again, if you want to see like a dedicated like hair like video, comment it down below so that I can know for the next time when I have, you know, multiple deep conditioners around and want to do a video like that. Just let me know. But like I said, I'm going to go ahead and go style my hair in another video. <laughs> Okay, you guys so this is what the finished bar cart looks like um obviously there's not really much of anything on it right now because i finished it late last night and didn't feel like doing it but i just had my foodie and then some alcohol a wine glass that one of my uncles gave me it says mermaids are supposed to drink like fishes and then as you guys can see there's a painting back there because i want the painting to go up here on the wall but it's like a heavier um like frame and painting so I'm not sure what I'm supposed to use to like hang it up because of course I'm in an apartment so I don't want to damage the walls or anything but I love the way the bar cart came out it is glass so you guys can see that um I will have it linked in my Amazon storefront as well but I think it turned out so so cute and it was easy to build I gotta take the numbers off and stuff but <laughs> Um, yeah, you guys, so that's the end of today's vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Of course, hit that subscribe button if you're new around here. I love you guys so, so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.